What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Real Time. I'm Rob. I'm Bryce. And I'm Zuff. And today we are back with Season 1, Episode 3 of Ted Lasso. This one is called Trent Krim, The Independent. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe that that is like the rude reporter that yeah. we've seen a couple times. I'm, I have a feeling that he's going to be the one who's going to break this story about Ted and Jamie's girlfriend. The lion. Even though nothing happened, it was just like a i don't know wrong place wrong time like mm -hmm. photo definitely just nothing going on there but yeah that's definitely gonna be leaked i think could see that being leaked by this guy and for sure just going to piss off yeah. jamie 100 percent. yeah jamie was he was a hard top a cookie to crack last episode he was about to i think say to trent cram like he was gonna use ted lasso's words of wisdom but then he just ended up uh Saying, oh no, he he's new coach is a clown. They were having cake, but I loved Ted last episode. He was awesome. He freaking just he's getting the locker room better. You could tell he made some improvements with Sam after the whole birthday cake, the whole birthday thing. He's gonna get this locker room together. I am pretty disappointed in Rebecca for still pushing out the story because like he's already two episodes in, done so much, so many sweet mm -hmm. gestures for her. Obviously, like the main thing is the biscuits. Like she fell in love with them. I think they reminded her of her childhood or something. Mm -hmm. she, she, like we, she kind of hinted at, and he's been making them. Because she was trying to find them. He's been home, like cooking them, and yeah. Also, like gave her that little statue for like boy soldier. Yeah, the soldier from his son. He's just always doing really nice stuff, and she still was like, "Yeah, put out that article." She threw the toy soldier on the ground. I get, I get her point of view though. Like her hatred towards this club and resentment for her husband's definitely outweighs just the kind things that Ted's done so far. I think it is going to add up and get to her, and she'll change her mind. But I mean, we've seen it ourselves. Like the amount of stuff that her husband's put her through. Like we, she just found out. In last episode that he had another girl that he was cheating on her with while they were together like i don't know i, I can understand why she's so focused on ruining this club but it's it not, just sucks that it has to be to ted dude yeah it's just also i feel like not a healthy way to like live. no like no. it's definitely regardless would get to you at some point yeah. like just negativity all day just trying to bring something down it's like ted's gonna get to her 100 yeah. percent all right, guys, well, that is pretty much it. Before we do get into this episode, if you have been liking all the Ted Lasso reactions, leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe. Check out all the links in our description as well. We got the Patreon, Discord, all of our social media is down there, as well as the address to our P.O. box. Send us something to be opened up on camera, like everything you see behind us right now, for our show mail time. And with all that being said, guys, we're going to get right into the episode. Ted Lasso, Season 1, Episode 3, Trent Krim, The Independent. Let's do it. Biscuits with the boss. Where is it? It would be front page news, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Call shithead. Oh no, <laughs> dude. Knock knock. Hey boss, I don't know about you, but I had an absolute peach of a Sunday. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> he needs it. When I was a kid, my folks took me to the Allen Bradley Clock Tower up there in Milwaukee. You know, they ended up leaving me there all by myself. You know, three hours and 42 minutes. You know how I know that? You were staring at the clock. I was staring at the clock. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this here is our current offense that we are running. And I think it stinks. I get rid of it. Now, you might be wondering, why did I draw all that up there? Just to erase it. <laughs> I was wondering that. I am officially on the prowl for any new ideas, you hear Oh. You guys on night? Uh, no. Uh, so, uh, uh no. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. I'm sorry, Nate. I have a real tricky time hearing folks that don't believe in themselves, so I'm going to ask you real quick again. Do you think this idea will work? Yeah, I do. Whoa! Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get Nate on as an assistant coach. Some could fill his spot. So you use Jamie as a decoy? No. No. Well, yeah. In, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. I don't think Jamie would love that, but uh, no. it could work. Makes me feel good. I start to strut. <laughs> I'm like, ooh, I like this. I like the way this makes me feel. So I'm strut, coach. Yeah, okay. I like this song. There you go, Nate. Yeah, that's one way to do it. There you go. 
Nathan's a top character. I know, he's so funny. <laughs> I think, honestly, every character has been a 10 out of 10 so far. Besides some of the soccer players. This was going to be the front page of the Sun today. Manager shags star player's girlfriend. Well, I think a more accurate headline would be manager innocently feeds young woman whose relationship does not define her. <laughs> Jamie's top breaks Todd's heart. Did you just come up with that? Yeah. Everyone would read that. <laughs> Lasso makes Paso and creates team fiasco. Whoa, Kiwi's got bars. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, show us a picture. See? And the fucking sun is running it tomorrow. Honestly, these people, they just have no regard for people's privacy and dignity. I had no idea about that. I know the owner of the paper. I can get this stopped with a phone call. This woman right here is strong, confident, and powerful. Boss, I tell you, I'd hate to see you and Michelle Obama arm wrestle, but I wouldn't be able to take my eyes off it either. <laughs> what? Switch to bumper catch. Same decoys through. Sam wide open. Oh, okay. yeah, that's a good play. Okay. Jamie didn't like that shit though. So no, there's so many new feelings, right? Oh, yeah. Now I get your first few, right? <laughs> <laughs> so we are all gonna run two laps around this field. Anyone who loses to me has to run four more. Let's go! Okay, fine. <laughs> what you got? Let's go. <laughs> this is how you get your players on your side. <laughs> <laughs> Can't catch me on the gingerbread man. Let's go. Illinois is a state, fellas. Uh, one last time, <laughs> there's some gifts up in y'all's lockers. Your little cubbies up there, so. It's fucking book. Damn, that's fucking disrespectful yeah. as shit, Something dude. Fuck yeah, dude. Remember when I said everyone's a 10 out of 10? He's a 0 out of 10. This story should know that your boy Nathan's been harassed every single day by Jamie and his little side pricks. I learned two pretty big lessons on the rough and tumble playgrounds of Brookridge Elementary School. If little Ronnie Pouch offers you a candy bar, you immediately say no. There's a good chance that little son of a gun has just pooped inside of a Butterfinger wrapper. Okay. <laughs> the teacher tells a bully not to pick on someone, it's just gonna make it work. So you're not gonna do anything? No. You have to do something, Roy. Why are you winding them up? He's the one, coach. We're gonna make an impact here. First domino needs to fall. Right inside that man's Yes, home. sir. He's the key. Time to ask you something. It's 40 kilos. In three sets of 10. <laughs> Doesn't want to know your workout, bro. So when I pick on Nate, and you laugh, they think it's okay. Right, because Nate's a weak babe, and he can't do anything about it. What is that justification? You're such an asshole, dude. Yeah, all right. I'll take care of it. Nate's a good lad. Hey, Roy, you come too close, Nate? Hold on, will you be there? Of course, bro. Then fuck no! <laughs> <laughs> no, you two are always messing with Nate, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Keep it up. Keep it up. Makes me laugh. Jackass, bro. I don't like him. He'll get, he'll definitely be, we'll like him at some point. I've agreed for his more reputable newspaper, The Independent, to do a profile on you. One on one with Coach Lasso. Yeah, okay. The writer will be Trent Crin. Oh, no, he's the bad one. Hey, there he is. Hello, Coach Ted Lasso from America. Hello, Trent Crin from The Independent. <laughs> hey, excited to spend the day with you. It's gonna be fun. And please, call me Ted. Kill him with kindness, huh? Out of way, Sammy. How'd that feel? Oh, wonderful coach. I thought that one in my penis. <laughs> what? What? You gotta sell that run through hard, baby. Make the defense believe you. Watch like this. Ball! Ball! Give me the ball! I want the ball! Give me the ball! I would like the ball! <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke. Unfortunately for you, though, no one thinks it's funny. I find it hilarious. I thought it's funny than Step Brothers. <laughs> that is high I've praise. Where the bunk bed collapses. Yeah. <laughs> I used to think that was the funniest thing I'd ever seen. But then I just saw that. And now I'm going to have to rethink my order of what I think is the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> that was some of the funniest dialogue I've ever heard. Did you come up with this? 
Oh, no, no, no. This is all cooked up by our very own Nate the Great. Who's Nate the Great? Someone's been walking the dog here. Found another food. <laughs> What the fuck are you doing? Jamie not talk to you about leaving him alone. Fuck's sake. Beat some ass, Roy. Be the team captain. Come on. Don't like being tricked. Jesus. Not by you and not by how did y'all cowboys? <laughs> My name is Ted Lasso and I'm from Cal. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, you're like really, really bad at <laughs> That was terrible. I'm Roy Kent, and I get paid to play a game. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> to celebrate, please welcome the new manager of AFC Richmond, Ed Lasso. Ed Lasso, hey. I know someone else who's really excited to meet all of you. So if you please help me welcome the captain of your AFC yes. Richmond squad. Yes, no way. Roy Kent! Yeah, you had to bring somebody that they'd think was cool. Nice. Okay, why don't we get out of this stuffy auditorium, go out on the pitch and have a proper fuck about? <laughs> <laughs> Let's do that yeah. instead. Let's have a fuck about. What does that mean? <laughs> I think it's really cool you do this. I'm doing it with my fucking lease guys here. Oh yeah? Which one is she? That idea. <laughs> 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 oh, he's sweet. Go. Perfect. Next. 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 <laughs> <laughs> uh, the show's so cool. Oh, here we go, people. Let's see what you got. Hey, nice catch. Might have ourselves a dog. Oh, oh. oh boy, oh boy. That's right in the button. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, baby. Good job. That's his knees. What even is A Wrinkle in Time? It's a lovely novel. It's the story of a young girl's struggle with the burden of leadership as she journeys through space. Yeah, that's it. You're going to be able to relate to it, Roy. None of this matters, because I'm just doing what everyone in this town is doing, and I'm counting down the days until you're gone. Trent, you're a colossal prick. You always have been. <laughs> Jeez. Hey, Ollie. This is my friend Trent. Trent, this is my buddy Ollie. This is me. Congrats. You both just met a cool person. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay with a little bit of spice? Have them make it for us like we're a couple members of the family. <laughs> You're a brave man. <laughs> that might not be the wisest of choices. Oh, man. I can't imagine they have good Indian food in Kansas. Oh, I have no idea. I've never had Indian food. <laughs> It'll be so hot. <laughs> I, I mean, that's hot. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. I feel like I'm about to breathe fire. <laughs> <laughs> For me, success is not about the wins and losses. It's about helping these young fellas be the best versions of themselves on and off the field. And it ain't always easy, Trent. Neither is growing up without someone believing in you. Let me ask you this. Is my tongue still in my mouth? <laughs> <laughs> I want Trent to write a good article about him, bro. I really enjoy getting to spend this time with you, Trent. You actually mean that, don't you? I hope he still doesn't write a bad one. You Americans like to eat, innit? Let's do it, huh? <laughs> oh, no. Let's try that one. <sighs> Woo! Painful. <laughs> oh, he's reading the book with her, his daughter. Niece. There's niece. And they're at the end. Fuck! That's a bad word in that, boy. I will mind your own business, baby. <laughs> Please do me the favor of remembering that these aren't my words, it's Trent Krim. Keep going. This is the good part. Yeah. Well, hey, Roy. I didn't know it was a retirement party. <coughs> oh, oh, shit. Stop messing with night. Slowly growing until we can no longer ignore its presence. <laughs> Dude, I love Roy. Kaylee. Roy. Whether mm. that means allowing followers <laughs> to become leaders. Oh no, he's gonna shit a absolute volcano. And though I believe that Ted Lasso will fail here and Richmond will suffer the embarrassment of relegation, I won't gloat when it happens. Damn. Damn, dude. Because I can't help but root for him. 
Let's go. Me too, Trent. I feel like I am probably going to say this every episode, but that episode was my favorite so far. I just, dude, that was so funny. Every ep- This is just so funny. Yeah. So good. Ah, so, so the good. story's good. It's yeah. funny. I loved every, every second of this episode. I really liked how Roy was more involved. He's easily one of my favorite characters. Like... I, I love all the characters, but him and Nate are hilarious. I'm really happy that Roy is like embracing his captain role and yeah. sticking up for Nate and not taking any more Jamie's BS because I don't know. That was a bad way to run things. And I think I, I just like how Ted's influence is getting getting to Roy. I think my favorite character has to be Ted Lasso. Oh, yeah. For, he's, um, he's the best. Jason Sudeikis is just... I mean, he is just so funny. I, there's like everything. I just enjoy every time he's saying something. Like, I just would like to hear him talk the whole episode. He's so good. He's so funny. I need to make a show about him. I'm always <laughs> so surprised with this, everything that comes out of his mouth. Like, it's just I could never predict what Ted Lasso is going to say, but it always just somehow makes sense. And, and like, he's it's so good. So kind, too. Like, he is just. It's genuine kindness, too. It's not like he's just being kind to gain something he's like he actually cares about people it's so so sweet i don't know it's funny they reference Step Brothers in this because like i i thought from the first episode that he kind of reminds me of ricky bobby who will ferrell also plays just because it's like the southern accent and also it's just so funny like like you guys said everything he says you can expect it to be like a funny like a dad joke something just reminds me of that so it's also really good that we won over Trent Krim because he is by far the harshest critic so far of Ted Lasso. Like, yeah. always looking to like ask him the tough question or write something bad about him. And he literally spent the day with him and like fell in love with him this episode. I feel like most people would. Mm-hmm. And people just got to give him a chance. And like, I think having like a front page news story saying, like, listen, this guy is like, a great guy i think that'll be really really good yeah. for his reputation because like obviously a lot of people aren't sold right now they just think he's like this wanker from america but like i think hopefully soon too the the coaching will reflect i think his willingness to like take ideas from like anyone even nate this episode is going to be huge i mean he, he can recognize that as far as like the game of football he that Nate is way more knowledgeable than him, so it wouldn't make sense to like shut down an idea. Probably everyone in the building is more knowledgeable than him, so like <laughs> taking an idea from anyone is a good idea. Mm-hmm. But he he can bring them together though, like we've been seeing the past few episodes. All right, guys. Well, that is it for this episode. If you have been liking all the Ted Lasso reactions, leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe. Check out all the links in our description as well. We got the Patreon, Discord, all of our social medias down there, as well as the address to our PO box. Send us something to be opened up on camera like everything you see behind us right now for our show mail time. With all that being said, guys, we will see you next time for Ted Lasso Season 1, Episode 4. Peace out.